You know, making music is something I've always wanted to do. And I don't mean to get all deep here, but I see music as this language that crosses and overcomes all barriers of communication. What I'm trying to say is I want to make music. So I decided I'm going to give it a shot. I've been dabbling about for a couple weeks now in FL Studio, which is a fairly powerful digital audio workstation. And I've managed to squeeze out a few little tunes just from messing about with the program after watching a few tutorials and reading a few things here and there. Although so I find the best way personally for me to learn is just trial and error. I have a really hard time sort of paying attention to tutorials and reading, so I like to just get in and mess about and make terrible music until I get better at it. So here's my progress uh, and some little things I've made in the weeks since I've started. Okay, so on my first and second day, my only goal was to learn and navigate the program, to learn where things are, uh, what the functions are and what different things do, just the basics. I feel it's often very easy, especially for me, uh, to see an interface for a tool or even for a video game and get quickly overwhelmed because it seems like a lot. And so the best way to combat that is just to take a little bit of time to deconstruct what you're seeing into sections and just learn what it all does. So I watched a few newbie navigation tutorials for FL Studio. To quickly summarize, we have the browser on the left here. It has all our samples, plugins, project files, things like that. We have the channel rack. This is simply just a rack that holds every single sound and automation clip in your song. We have the piano roll where you make melodies, drum beats, whatever. It's very powerful. And then we have the playlist. This is where you construct the song by painting in your patterns. You can make as many patterns as you want. You put as much as you want in each pattern. So for example, you can have a pattern for your drums and then make a new pattern for your melody and your bass, etc., etc. Uh, and then I guess the last important thing is the mixer. Here you can apply and stack effects to every sound. Uh, I don't really do a load of that to be honest because I'm just a beginner, but this is where you can really fine tune your sounds and get everything mixed together really well. All right, day three. With the boring stuff out of the way, I got onto messing around a bit, trying to make simple little melodies. Now I should probably mention, I don't know how to play any instruments <laughs> and I also don't really know any music theory. Now I don't know how much of that's gonna affect my ability to make music. Although I do imagine not knowing any music theory is generally going to lead to a lot more trial and error. So on this day, I put together this short melody, I guess you could call it. Uh, it's very fast and probably a bit too much. You know, sometimes I think less can be more. This melody gives sort of like this vampire in his castle slamming at his keyboard kind of vibe. Anyway, here it is. Right, day four, I put together another little tune. Now, this one also came off as too much and too fast, in my opinion. And for some reason, it also gives off this like evil vampire slamming away at his piano. I'm not sure why that's the vibe I keep making here. Now, what I did do with this one is I tried to throw in a few automation clips, uh, which is simply just automating an effect, such as a limiter or automating volume change. You can automate pretty much every effect in FL Studio, which is is really neat. Anyway, here it is. Okay, so day five and six, I didn't do much. Uh, I watched a few more tutorials and was just kind of lazy. You know, give me a break. All right, but don't worry because on day seven, I made another little tune. Now with this one, I wanted to try slowly building into the song a bit more. So I start with the chords and then I introduce the melody after a bar or two. Although there are a few issues for sure. It's very harsh, I think. You know, the mixing could definitely be better. It's almost like it's trying to be a relaxing song, but it's yelling at you the whole time. It does kind of give me like a retro game vibe though. And hurrah, it doesn't sound like evil vampire music. So, you know, that's a win. Here it is.
Okay, so day eight, I didn't do too much. I watched a few more tutorials, but don't worry because every day after this, I made a tune. On to day nine. Remember what I said earlier about how less is more? Well, I think this song sort of showcases why I think that. It's much slower and simpler than the vampire music at the start, but I think it benefits from that. Overall, it's a very sweet, relaxing little tune that I was pretty happy with. Here it is. Alright, we are getting closer to the two week mark now. So day 10, I did make something. I think it started decent. You know, it had potential, but I think it failed. I didn't really know where I wanted to go with the tune and ended up trying to layer loads of crap on it, trying to save it and make it sound good and interesting. Uh, and I think it was just too much and it didn't go anywhere. But I still learned a lot and that's what's important. So I'm gonna let you listen to it anyway and maybe you'll understand what I mean. Okay, I got a pretty fun one for you today on day 11. Uh, a lot of the music I like to listen to is very chill and sort of lo-fi hip-hop kind of stuff. But you know, I also work out every day and when I work out, I listen to much higher energy sort of rave kind of music. So I wanted to give it a crack and try and make something like that. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but all of the tunes I've made so far, I haven't actually put any drums in. I think you can get away with that on a chill song, but for a high energy song, you really need that drum beat to sort of get the flow going. So for this song, I made a simple drum beat and yeah, added a few cool things. I had some fun with it. I think it came out pretty well. For some reason, the melody kind of came off as evil vampire-ish again. You know, I, I honestly don't know why that keeps happening. Uh, anyway, here it is.
Okay, so on day 12, I made another little chill song. Uh, it's quite similar to day 9's chill song. Um, I think I like this one a little bit more though. I put in some simple drums and I like the melody more. And I think overall it's a bit more expressive. My only gripe is it's a little bit repetitive nearer the end and I think I could have changed it up a little bit more. But anyway, here it is. Right, it is the penultimate day of my first two weeks in FL Studio, and I'm actually really happy with what I made on day 13. I think it has the most layers and texture out of any of the tunes I've made so far, but unlike day 10, it doesn't sound jumbled and it flows together much better. And to me, I, I feel it could really fit as sort of like a cutesy background song in some kind of wholesome game, like, I don't know, Slime Rancher or Animal Crossing. I threw in some pretty funky sounds. Uh, it's got drums, it builds up a bit, it has a little counter melody, I tried to put a small break in the middle so it wasn't overly repetitive. Overall, I liked it. Here it is. Okay, it's the final day. It has been a productive two weeks. Uh, I learned a lot. Now, for day 14 song, I added a few new things. It is some background ambience of some birds and some rain uh, to try and fill up some of that empty space in the audio scape, I, I guess. Uh, it's got drums again. I put in a little vocal clip as well of one of my friends. You know, I had some fun messing about with the melody and, you know, I still have a few gripes with the song. I think the mixing wasn't great. The piano is a little harsh. Maybe I should have, you know, used a different instrument. And at the end, I threw in a counter melody on the flute. I wanted it to, I guess, go against the grain of the song. But, you know, I don't know <laughs> music theory. So I think it sounded okay but maybe a little too off. So it probably needs a little touching up so it flows better. But overall, I liked it. It's quite a relaxing song. Here it is, day 14.
So possibly you might have noticed that throughout these two weeks, I only used stock samples and plugins that came with FL Studio. Now I don't really have much reason to doing that. Uh, there are plenty of free sample packs and VSTs I could install, but I guess the way I see it is using good samples is going to make a good song better, but it's not going to make a bad song good. So my focus is just trying to make a good song using stock stuff. And then if I get around to making proper full songs at some point, uh, you know, I'd get into using higher quality samples and VSTs. All right, reflection time. So first of all, this was very fun. Uh, I love messing around and making little tunes. I found it to be really rewarding, uh, although it definitely can be frustrating when it just won't sound right or I struggle to get what's in my head into FL Studio. But I'm confident that's just a skill that comes with time and experience. It definitely is a little overwhelming at first, and I barely scratched the surface of the capabilities and things you can do with FL Studio. I hardly touch the mixing channel, for example. FL Studio is a very powerful tool that you can most definitely make studio grade music with. But I think it's good for beginners too. It's not too hard to navigate once you get a feel for things. So talking goals, I think one thing I really want and need to learn is how to structure a song uh, because I don't really know anything about that. And at the moment, I'm able to build the song up slowly just by adding more layers and instruments. But then I have some trouble knowing how to end it or even just how to drag it out over three or four minutes uh, without it feeling boring or repetitive. Right now all the tunes I'm making are about a minute long and just kind of suddenly end after I've built them up. So that's something I'll work on for sure. Another thing I'd love to do is write some lyrics and sing over the tunes I make. <laughs> that seems like a whole other ballpark I'd need to dive into. But you know, we'll see. What I reckon though is any songs I'm happy with I'll probably chuck up on the channel. Maybe I'll make some breakdown videos showing the process I go through to make a song. You know, it could be interesting. Uh, Although obviously, you know, I'm a beginner, so I don't really know how much value that would provide. Anyway, that's it. The video's over. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Now get out of here. Go. Bye-bye.